Hey everybody, my name is Melissa and we're gonna talk about how to gold chain like The Sopranos. Now, I'm only on season three, all right? So please don't spoil it if you've already seen it. But whenever I ask people to not spoil things, people want to do it anyways, they have an urge. But please, y'all, it's a great show and I want to see what happens. But anyways, I was trying to see if anyone made a YouTube video on this because, I mean, the jewelry on The Sopranos goes crazy. I'm pretty sure that more people are watch fanatics so there's probably videos out there about the watches on the show. But for me, I was really hooked on, you know, the gold the gold chains that they were wearing. Even the bracelets were really nice as well. Now, I got put onto The Sopranos because my sister saw an episode of it. And she knew that I was a jewelry fanatic. And she said, you know what, you should give this show a shot. And me personally, I don't really like to watch a lot of TV. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a show to kind of close out my night. And from the very first episode... I was hooked and i just want to tell you right now that the way that they do their jewelry is so like wear their jewelry is so realistic because you'll see characters from the very first episode at least up till now in the third season that i've seen are still wearing this the same exact pieces that they had on in that pilot so it's kind of nice to see that and as somebody that also likes to wear jewelry daily wearing is very common for people in this hobby and just picking up pieces that you know, are having that durability and that are comfortable around your neck so you can do whatever in them and they're not too gaudy. You know, these are things that you can wear on like a daily basis and you can also wear them if you are going to a very fancy occasion. It'll work with any type of outfit. So I'm going to start with my heavy link right here. And the character that I thought of with this chain in particular was Brandon Fallone. I think he was back in season one. He was Christopher's best friend. I'm not going to do any spoilers or anything like that, but he wore what looked like almost this woven chain. It was like a woven chain herringbone mix, and he it, he had it a bit at that choker length. So it wasn't really hugging his neck, but it kind of sat exactly how you see on my neck right now, a little bit looser, just higher up. And what I love about this style is that if you're somebody that likes to wear polos or you have to wear button-ups, button-downs, and you don't want something that's going to just hang too low, you still want it to kind of be seen and have a sophisticated sort of look, then these are great lengths to have. Now on my neck is 16 inches. On him, it was probably 20, 22 inches because the thicker your neck is, of course, the, the longer your chain has to be to accommodate to things. But he, like his was the one that really caught my eye off first glance because it was very bold. And he was one of the few characters that weren't really wearing pendants, so you were just really focused on the chain. And it really did mesh well with the kind of personality that he did have. So the heavy link, great. Like this is just the one that I could showcase to you right now. I don't currently have a woven that I could show you, but this one is my current daily wear and sleep, shower, pools, beaches, jacuzzis, literally everything. It does not matter, I will wear this chain and it is solid 22 karat gold. I will just take it off my neck to kind of show you what it looks like up close in case you're interested. Or if you're somebody that maybe heard of high purity, but you don't know if it's something that you want to give a shot to because of what you're hearing on the internet, I'll tell you right now that you can absolutely daily wear high purity gold. And it's not going to be breakable and it's not gonna do anything on you it's been months since i've worn this and i never take it off unless i'm doing videos like this but yeah four millimeters right here amazing weighs about 40 ish something grams okay so the next one i'm gonna do is christopher so christopher is a character that wears the same chain the whole entire time and he wears like a pendant like it's kind of like a thin chain. The one that I have right here is a 1.7 millimeter Franco. I'm not sure exactly what chain he's wearing, but he has a pendant of a saint on it. And the one that I have here is Saint Christopher. And apparently one of my subscribers told me literally yesterday that Christopher wears a Saint Christopher pendant, which is just super fitting, you know, but I guess a lot of people, they get their very first gold pieces during their confirmations. And then they just kind of, keep it around their neck to, you know, showcase their faith and uh, keep it close to their hearts. And I like that. That's actually a reason why I got this pendant right here, because I missed kind of having a, a, a religious piece to wear around my neck. And it just it gives me a sense of, of peace, you know. So that's just me um, to each their own. 
but I'm going to throw this on for you. And this one is also 22 karat solid gold and the pendant is 24. Now, what I don't like about this is that the clasp is so tiny. It's the thing with like a lot of these smaller chains is the clasp is, it can get annoying sometimes, but this is what it looks like. This pendant right here is from Monet. This chain is from Hawaii Rope Chains. Now I didn't mention this is from Jakoji. I'll put the names of the places that these chains are from in the comment section in case you guys want to shop there. But these are like legit places that sell solid gold. And then there's also some silver here that I'll show you. But everything that I'm showcasing is not plated. It's all solid. All right. Nothing hollow as well. But I also really love this look. In fact, I like to layer these two. I'll put on the heavy link and it'll sit right here. You could probably see it in my other videos and then I'll have this one just dangling beneath it. So this is sitting at 18 inches, but just such a fire look, you know, especially wearing a button down with this and you kind of see it peeking out a bit. And in the earlier seasons, Christopher was wearing a lot of tracksuit things. You know, he'll have like a ribbed tank top and then he'll have like a tracksuit and then he just has his chain on and it's just a nice touch. Beautiful. Like for me, I just, I, I'm telling you, I love the way that the show did their jewelry. I thought that it was executed absolutely perfect. So here it is. This is Christopher's look. It's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. I love it. I love it. Now, I wish I knew exactly what chain in particular he was wearing, but it was a smaller millimeter. I don't even think it was over two millimeters, honestly. So you can get away with just getting a, a rope chain if you want, a Franco, even like a micro Cuban if that's something else that you like or a box chain would be sweet as well but this right here was christopher's look i'll show you again maybe one more time in case you want to see the franco and the pendant right there okay now i have this sterling silver cross right here i think this is a silver yeah no actually this is white gold no 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 this is silver this is silver. I think it's with rhodium plating though. So I have this very thin chain with a crucifix on it. And this is Carmela's, Car, Stud, Carmela, Carmela's setup right here. So she wears this crucifix chain and then she has like a, a big layering thing going on. So you see that if I can get this clasp going, th that's going to be the hardest part of this video is like making sure that all of these clasps attach, clasps attach but she has a crucifix necklace on and then she also has something higher up on her neck and i'm not sure exactly what chain that is but it's it's bolder right so this one here is kind of like a a mariner chain if you will like a silver a sterling silver mariner chain and this is about she's like 6.7 millimeters so this one is pretty this one's pretty big and this is also 18 inches, but I'm just pulling it back so you can kind of see what it looks like with a layered look. So she'll have a thick chain up top here. Then she has a thinner chain that's probably, this is probably one millimeter, this chain that the crucifix is on, or maybe even a little bit less. I doubt that this is even 1.5, but she'll have a setup like this. And she has like a, another Mariner chain, like a gold Mariner chain, just coming and dropping down all the way just to kind of frame the crucifix which is a very nice look and it's something not a lot of people wear because it's a hard layering look to pull off but for her it's just so effortless you know she's very glammed up but then she also just has like a simplistic crucifix which you can't really go wrong with and she wears the setup again in every single episode so i think that that's really fire um and i do i do love her setup and her hair is always just like on point as well so here we go again. Got it. Record time. Record time. So I'm going to take this off. And we're going to get to, you know, we'll do Tony's, right? Tony is the, he's the main guy. He's the leading character in the whole entire thing. And what I got for Tony's gold chain. And by the way, this piece right here is from Luke Zion Jewelry. So Luke Zion Jewelry does solid sterling silver, no plating. And he's great. Like, his pieces are very, very affordable. Um, I think probably that piece that I showed you, maybe under 60-something dollars, but you can find stuff for 40 bucks on there. And again, 
these are lifetime pieces. So yes, silver will tarnish, but you can just get it clean. It's not going to turn green on you or anything like that. So if you want to pass these down to your kids, you absolutely can. So for Tony's chain, to get to the point, I got this four millimeter Mariner. This is from Jacoji Fine Jewelry. And I love this Mariner chain, man. I used to wear this all the time. And then the pendant I got here is, I think it's, it's when you know what it's from Hawaii rope chains and it's this this it's Jesus on the crucifix but it's an oval shaped pendant and I know that Tony <clears throat> actually wore a saint and again the same follower that told me about Christopher setup also told me that Tony apparently wore a Saint Anthony pendant which is again very fitting same name same everything but I love Tony's setup I believe that he wasn't wearing a mariner chain he was wearing like a flat curb something that still had that shine factor um but and his was probably 18 karat gold this right here is is solid 14 karat but i used to wear this setup all the time y'all and it was amazing especially in the light the way that this reflects and just the polishing of the 14 karat was really nice but definitely a lot more pale in comparison to higher purity but Gosh, I man, wearing this again makes me kind of miss it. I'm gonna look in the mirror real fast. But yeah, yeah, I know that Tony Shan probably wasn't a four millimeter. Um, my my subscriber told me it was between two and a half to three millimeters, and I see that just because it wasn't really thick, but you can definitely see it from far away. You know, flat curves do a really good job at you know being shiny and just having that appeal to them when you first see them, and also the the uh, the pendant that he wore was also very eye-catching as well. Sometimes it would tuck into his uh, his tank top that he was wearing. Sometimes it would be out. Or even if he's just wearing a polo, you'll just see it on the side of his neck. And again, just something that you cannot go wrong with. These are pieces that you can wear when you're getting really glammed up and pieces that you can wear when you're going to sleep, you know? So they just, they have really, really nice durability. And the Mariner is a very, very durable chain. Probably my favorite flat link design and again affordable in terms of solid jewelry because it's not as heavy as a rope chain or um uh franco i was gonna say mariner not mariner heavy link the bigger ones that i showed you or the heavier ones that i showed you all right so tony absolutely fire with his setup with that flat curve but for the sake of this video showing you a mariner again from jacoji this one from hawaii rope chains the pendant. I do have a discount code for Hawaii Rope Chains. It's called Melissa, just to help you save some money. And just in complete transparency, I don't get anything off the back end from having that discount code. I just decided to do it with the owner because he said a lot of people that are subscribed to me were buying from his place. So he's like, do you want a code to just give your followers? And I was like, yeah, man, absolutely. So that's what we did. So if you want to save some money, you can cop some stuff from there. Now, the next person I'm going to talk about is the fan favorite. It's Polly. Everybody loves Polly. Um, and what I got for him is a rope chain. Now, he has a crucifix that he wears with his rope chain, which is also a very, very nice, classy look. And it's something that is probably the most popular chain design or chain, yeah, that I see on like a day-to-day -day basis when I'm in public. People love wearing rope chains and they love wearing crucifixes. Um, so again, just something that is a great starter chain. Now this one I have here is solid 14 karat. And this was my very first solid gold chain that I actually purchased um, for myself when I got into this, this hobby of mine. But unfortunately I don't have a cross to put on this chain in particular, but I had this one just hanging by itself. Now, Polly's, of course, hangs lower with that crucifix. I would say that if you're my build, like five foot five, you could probably throw on like 20, 22 inches and it'll sit like his. If you're a bigger person, of course, maybe 22, 24, so that it hangs a little bit lower and then you have a crucifix that complements the chain as well. But I love rope chains. The only downside with them, with the diamond cut ones in particular, is sometimes they snag on the hairs on the back of your head and you have to untwist them and that gets irritating. But again, that just really happens if you have longer hair. But maybe if you're a guy, honestly, if you have chest hair, 
it can probably, it might pull at that and I could see how that would be annoying as hell. You know, so just be cautious for that. But in terms of shine and just like being easy to wear, super easy. Like I do love the shine factor of my rope chain. I remember the first time I was wearing this, I was getting so many compliments on this chain because it's a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves a good rope chain. So if you're trying to gift somebody with a gold necklace, rope chains won't fail y'all. They, they seriously won't. People love them for a good reason. All right, next we got Meadow. And Meadow's kind of like Carmela. She just wears a very simple crucifix necklace, another cross necklace. And this chain right here is a, uh, a 14 karat, actually. And this was my very first solid gold chain that I was gifted. And this was from my grandma. She gave it to me after I graduated college. And y'all, I wore this thing to the ground. I mean, I could still wear it now because that's exactly what solid gold jewelry does, right? Like anytime, any place. Oops, let me flip it the other way around because I'm a lefty. But that's the thing about solid gold jewelry is you can just always wear it and it's gonna it's gonna be fine, you know? Like even even me when I if I give this to my grandkids, they could throw it on and there's no problems. Now I think that the cross is backwards because Again, I'm a lefty, but that's what it would look like if I had it the right way. But yeah, very simple. I just saw Meta wearing this recently in season three. She just had a cross on and it looked good. You know, very dainty. Um, if you're into dainty jewelry or if you're somebody that is kind of balling on a budget, you want something that's durable, not too flashy, something that's sleek, something that is, you know, if you're big on your faith and you just want a crucifix, then yeah. This is a nice setup and I would wear this 24 seven. Like this was my chain for years before I got into, you know, I saw like Miami Cuban link links and I was like, oh, these, those are nice. Come to find out that I was actually getting Vermeer pieces. So I was buying Vermeer, right? And then um, I didn't know at that time that this chain was actually solid gold. I actually found out about that recently when I just checked this one out again, but yeah, I love this. I was It was buried underneath my uh, jewelry box and there were other plated from a pieces with it that were turning, you know, green and just uh, like fading. But then this has stayed its true color. Now, I think that this is a box chain that it's on. I'm pretty confident that that's a box chain, like a not, a, not even a one millimeter, less than one millimeter box chain right there. So I would personally advise if you have the ability to get something that's 1.5 at least, then that would be a little bit more durable than like a one millimeter chain. And lastly, we got a Figaro here for AJ. And AJ just started wearing chains, I think, in the second season. Because in that first season, he's still like a kid. I think he was, looked like he was in middle school or something like that, because he, he had like a high-pitched voice, you know? But Figaro chains, let me tell you, have made a quite, like quite a resurgence. I used to never really see these as often. And then in particular, like on TikTok, a lot of people are just like, I see a lot of these younger kids rocking Figaro's. And I was like, oh yeah, it, it's a very nice chain. And this was actually, uh, this one here is from Harlem Bling. The crucifix that I just showed you was a, again, a gift from my grandma. I think she got it from Macy's or something like that. The other crucifix, the silver one, I don't know where that's from. So, but again, you could probably find something like that quickly online but anyways this figaro right here is 4.5 millimeters it sits at 20 inches on my neck and it's a nice solitaire look now i'm pretty sure that the one that anthony's wearing aj's wearing is maybe not even five it's probably like six millimeters because it's a pretty good thickness to it and it's just amazing to wear on its own if you're somebody that doesn't really care too much about wearing a pendant and you want something that is somewhat of a unique design and also affordable, Figaro's are perfect. I would always suggest getting a Figaro as your very first chain. If you're buying it for yourself and you are trying to get something that's a little bit of a bigger millimeter because these are lighter in gram weight. And with gold, you always have to pay for the weight. So it's easier to always get like a lighter chain that is very durable, still has a nice design. And if you do want to throw a pendant on it later on, you can, but I do like the way AJ rocks it, which is just as is, you know, very, very straightforward, 
very simple. And it's interesting watching the show now in 2023 and seeing that kids his age, at least how the age he was on the show, are, are wearing jewelry pieces like this. I see it more in sterling silver, at least with my day to day. If I run into the occasional high school kid or see like a TikTok and somebody's wearing jewelry, usually it's the Figaro now. Like the top three most popular chains I personally see on people's necks are the rope chain, the Cuban, and the Figaro. Franco's, Mariner's, and Heavy Link's, I hardly see as often, especially the Heavy Link. That one is super rare. It's also known as the Hermes Link. But again, maybe if you're in the younger demographic, Figaro chains are a great one to kind of look into. Because yeah, you can, you're, you can, more affordable. It's always better if you can find something that's nice, but still affordable. And then later on, if you want to get more fancy stuff or you want to get heavier chains, you can do that as you get older. But there it is. I know there's a lot of other characters like, you know, Richie, that also, I think he wore a nice, is it a Figaro? It wasn't a Cuban. I think he was wearing like a Figaro chain or something like that, but it was it was much longer. It was definitely much longer, but love the jewelry there. I mean, they all wear rings as well. I've seen a lot of rings on that show. Um, bracelets are a different story. If you want to know about bracelets, well, this one isn't really like what they would wear, but this is a moon cut bracelet from Hawaii Rope Chains. This one is in white gold. But the thing with moon cut is it looks beautiful. It shines like crazy, but it's also semi hollow because of the design of this type of bracelet, this type of chain. There's a string that holds those beads together. And yeah, the durability here isn't the best in comparison to the other chains that I just showcased to you, the other designs, all right? But anyways, if you've watched The Sopranos, like, let me know if I'm missing anything in the comment section below. I know there's a lot of fanatics that love the show. And if there's other characters I didn't get the chance to mention in this video, let me know, like, whose setup you love the most, what you actually rock, if it inspired you to get some pieces of gold or silver. Let me know all of that in the comment section below. All right, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.